Jason with Huck Outdoors and today we've got a group going up to Kelly Camp of overnight and then we are going to be summiting Ontario and Bighorn. I want to show you the map which is right over here. We are right here. 4960. We're going to come up Ice House Canyon Trail. Uh, come up to the Ice House Saddle. Then you come over about a mile to Kelly Camp and then looks like 1.8 miles to Ontario Peak. Almost another mile over to Bighorn Peak. There's your peak right there. Ontario's 8,658. Bighorn, 8,441. Should be a fun time. Just gonna be a little windy up there tonight. The temperatures should be pretty mild, like uh, in the 40s. Not too bad. And then for dinner, I just did some dehydrated meals this time. So it's gonna be some packet gourmet. Uh, I got some new ones to try out. But it's gonna be a blast. Let's get to it. Here at Columbine Springs, filling up. Just got the group behind me. Um, going up to Kelly Camp with five liters of water. Don't know if it's flowing or not. Hopefully it is. So that's extra water just in case. We're up here at Ice House Saddle, and a little windy. Got another dog over there named Sierra, just like my dog, another white husky. And look what David brought up for me. A and W root beer. That was my weakness. So David, thank you.
we have made it to Kelly Camp. It's about 1.30, and now we're going to uh, head up to the top over here, do Ontario and Bighorn today. Got plenty of time, and we'll have enough time to come back and cook dinner too. But let me show you camp. Um, Mark and Devin are way over there. You got Steve in his Zpex duplex, and then we got the Lunar Solo Row. You got Matt's, mine, David's, and Monica's. And then here at the end is Robert's Quarter Dome. Quarter Dome 1. I do like this design a lot better than the one I have. I like how it sits almost sits up a little bit higher and it actually has four points that it goes to instead of three. So it's an actual freestanding, not semi freestanding. Let me take you in my humble abode. I got my Marlar blanket down and then I've got my Z Light, my Climate Insulated Static V Light. That's like a RV of like 4.4, 4.3, something like that. And then I've got a new piece of gear right here. It is a Cedar Ridge Outdoors quilt. It is their, what is it, the, not the Fontana, the Lacante top quilt. It is a zero degree, weighs at 25 ounces. Got Coyote Brown on this side, Moroccan Blue on this side. So we'll see how warm I am tonight in it. I've got it on that side snapped in, drawstring for the foot, and then I've got one uh, thing going underneath to hold it in place on the pad. I could put one more like right here, but I'm going to try without it tonight and see how it is. If I have to put it on, I will put it on. But once again, that is inside of my Lunar Solo. We'll see how uh, warm I am tonight. Ontario Peak. Look who's up here. We got Monica. Okay. I got David if you can see him. Right. Robert. It's 8,693 feet. This is a famous tree. Beautiful up here. If we can see the clouds have sort of taken over. But we have made it. Ontario Peak. Woo! Love it. So, yeah, this has been a long time. So from the bottom, if you're ever down that way, um, you're down by Bass Pro Shop, anything like that, in our Ranch Cucamonga, you can see uh, Cucamonga and Ontario. So we did it. Right on, man. Steve. Heck yeah. We're here. guys? We're here. You got the whole group up here now. You got Matt, Steve, Devin, Mark, Robert, David, and Monica. All of us made it up here. Right on. As we left the peak, the sun has decided to come out and play. We can see the other side of Ice House Canyon. I can see the Chapman Trail down there. Look behind us, Ontario's up there. That's where we just came from. I'm hoping that when we go around the corner here, we're gonna get some good views of the valley down below. So right here, Baldy just came into view. If you come over here, um, I believe that's Telegraph right here which just came into view. Look what we came to, guys. Look at that view. Ranch Cucamonga is buried in the clouds below. We've got the clouds up here, clouds down there. And if I come over this way, you got Bighorn right there. Etiwanda way back there. And there's Cucamonga. We are lucky to see all of this. Just lucky. We're 
dinner is a big and burrito from Packet Gourmet. I don't know. Oh, yeah? I'll let you know how it is. So, Steve, how was that big and burrito? Dude, that was so good. It was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> Packet Gourmet knocked it out of the park on that one. Hey guys, it is breakfast time. This is breakfast for today. A savory Italian polenta with pork sausage. Another uh, packet gourmet. Monica's got another one there. Which one is that one, Monica? Uh, Jamaican peanut porridge. We'll see how that one is. Yeah. Just finished breakfast this morning. And Monica, David, and myself are gonna head up to Bighorn. And we'll Show you the way up there once we get up to the little saddle. But it's gonna be a beautiful day up there. The clouds were out yesterday and now they're all gone. Today with the clouds gone, you can see the Baldy Bowl right there, Mount Baldy right there. Then just to the right uh, Harwood. And you got the back backbone that comes down right there. Beautiful views today. So where we are going now is right over there, which is Bighorn. Then, uh, Mungo's right there. Ontario's behind me. That's what we did yesterday. So let's uh, get to Bighorn. Here we are at the top of Bighorn. Three of us have made it. I can David, myself. Great views from the top, good 360. I'll just keep going around because I'm loving this. You got Cucamonga back there, Ontario. You see Wilson, Baldy. You can actually see Telegraph Brown. now. Fire Timber, right and then the high desert out there. Brown. Brown. And if I turn around, Catalina would be out there, but just can't see it with the clouds. I see this. Pretty awesome. It is 12.45. We are just leaving Kelly Camp, heading back down. Let's see how long it takes us to get to the bottom. Been a great time here. This camp right here has got a lot of room. Come up anytime. You'll enjoy it. Just make sure you bring water because that spring is not flowing. So it took us uh, 30 minutes to get from Kelly Camp down here to uh, Ice House Saddle that we just passed through. And now I'm gonna see how long it takes us to get back down to the trailhead. So let's go. Well, we're almost back to the cars. Just about 100 yards to go. It's four o'clock. From the saddle down was about two hours, 45 minutes. Stopped a few times to check out some sites that we've never seen before. Monica found out an old road, so we're going to go explore that sometime soon. Going to blast this weekend. Uh, wind wasn't too bad like it was supposed to be. Yeah, everybody just had a blast. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, hit like. Leave a comment below. And if you are not a subscriber, subscribe. Until next time, see you on the next adventure. Got that all on film. Regular <laughs> Echo, echo. Bellowing into the vacuum. <laughs> and everybody in Rancho Cucamonga wants to know what a regulator is now. <laughs>